Yeah, I'm ballin' in this bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Money stay callin' in this bitch. We ain't worry about none, we celebrate it. <laughs> What's, What's up, going big on, homie? everybody? What's going on? Yes. What's, uh, happy St. Patty's Day to all you lovely individuals. Woo! Welcome back to another Pulse Nation episode. How you doing, my boy? Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm, I, you, you see, I got my boy ATX behind me hey, right here. You know, yeah. Hey, you know, know. <laughs> What's up, people? <laughs> we back. We live. We the most bullish people in the community. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Very excited to be here, man. Very Share excited. Share this out with everyone, folks. Get the stream out to as many people as you possibly can as well. Oh, look mm-hmm. at that. Pulse Nation swag. Um, oh, come on. You see it? Hey. But yeah, guys, you know you know what's going to be happening. We got another episode coming at you right now. We're going to be diving into some fun topics, looking into the ecosystem, looking into the sentiment of what's going on with the ecosystem. We're diving into some more yield farming strategies and different, yes. different planning. And uh, that's kind of what's on the table for now. Again, any questions that y'all got, you know, you're welcome to throw them in chat. We may not mm-hmm. get to them all. We may not see them all. If you do throw a super chat in there, we definitely always see them. So 100%. feel free to do whatever you want, when you want. It's much love to everyone. But what matters the most is that you like the video, you share this video out, and you subscribe yep. to our channel. If you ain't subscribed to mine, subscribe to me. If you ain't subscribed to my boy Wes, subscribe to my boy Wes. Please. Do, and please if you're do. watching on mine, go, go, go quick, click like on his... Fr- Go click like. Go yeah, do it. yeah, yeah. Just jump over and then jump back. <laughs> do what you got to do, fun, man. Have fun. We'll throw some commercials throughout the stream. So, yeah, man. Uh, guys, yeah. We're going to talk about yield farming today. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, how they can earn incentive token and whatnot. So, ATX will run through that. Also, we're going to talk about the site, the website's coming, the clothes, the gear. Be prepared. We're going to have a lot of new merch on the way. That's yes, very sir. exciting. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah, facts because, on facts on facts on bro, facts. Honestly, man, I the the yield farming thing to see how much incentive I was able to earn, you know, just from setting that little farm up. You know, you you helped me set one up a long time ago. Yep. And it's just, bro, it's 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 a blessing, man. It's a blessing to see. Yeah, and sometimes honestly, I told you, yeah. I told you my buddy had forgot about his for a while, right? Yeah, he had just yeah, completely yeah. forgot. And then he came back and looked at it the other day and whether or not it was like connecting on a different wallet the Worth whole time. And something. Came back yeah. and he looked at his incentive and it was, I think that was back when it was just like three dollars and then the thing went yep. up to four and then I think he was making like ten grand a day for every dollar it went up or something like that. It was something in that ballpark. <laughs> and uh and then we, we actually hit a high of like ten so far in the most recent local top. Uh, and so you're just looking at it from there and you're like, Bro, people are getting paid, man. People are Bro. definitely getting paid. You don't have to take on massive risk for any any anything as well. Um so oh, we're gonna be diving into don't. some of that as well today. Yeah, definitely, man. Shout out to the chat, man. Run through it real quick. I see we got Gloria, as always, Pulse Nation in the building. We got Maddie Allen says, let's go. Great thumbnail, by the way. Let's talk about the thumbnail, man. Well, are we getting job? We getting job soon, man? We going Yo, back we're to wrecked, the bro. We're wrecked. <laughs> we're wrecked. It's, it's doom and gloom, up. guys. That's it. That was it. It's that was so the bull run. Good. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all had oh, some yeah. fun. Alt season's over, dog. Bull runs in. It's a wrap. Pack it up. <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. Oh, man. So, much, so, so funny on that, for sure. For sure. It is definitely a great thumbnail. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah man. definitely, man. People are hey, terrified. Well, hey, might, might as well go make some additional capital, some additional bread to be buying up these dips with, y'all. Bro. I slept on that incentive token, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when I seen the power, when I seen the power of that incentive token, the way that thing pumped, I ain't sleeping yep. on that thing again, bro. I want to yep. earn that thing while I sleep. That's yep. what I'm doing. Very Yeah, exciting. my buddy did a crazy play. And, you know, we talk about it all the time. We just bounce ideas off each other and stuff like that. And it's good. It's good. If y'all, if y'all don't have someone to bounce ideas off in crypto, just be ready to make some mistakes. The mistakes are just simply learning lessons. It's simply that's all it is. If you got someone to bounce your ideas off each other, you can kind of give, you know, your two cents on different strats and that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, you got to take the own responsibility. You got to take responsibility for whatever the outcome yeah. is. So yeah. whatever we talk about in the video, whether it be buying, whether it be yield farming, whether it be doing this, whether it be doing that, understand at the end of the day, you're the one who clicked that. Okay. Yeah, don't go crazy. Don't so go don't go crazy, crazy with anything. But at the same time, my buddy's like, dude, F it. I'm in. You know, like he, he goes 100%. Oh, he's going I don't, crazy? I don't do the 100%. You know what I mean? Like, so. Oh, he's 100%. I got, I got, I got several, I got several f- folks who did different, you know, strats for different folks. And 
everyone at the end of the day has to be comfortable with that at the end of the day, right? Like mm. he's definitely way out earning me at this point in time. So congratulations, Ooh, he right? He put hundred percent. Let's yeah. go, baby. Right. <laughs> and dude, when it when it hits, it's gonna hit, man. It's gonna hit. Now let me ask you. Let me ask. Is he doing it the safe way, like pulse pulse sex, or is he doing like other like? Like the other, um, uh, no, he's he's doing a little, a little bit more aggressive play, but he's again he's a lot he's a lot smarter when it comes to actually understanding farming. how it all works too. He's yeah, not yeah, yeah. going in blind. He's done yield farming before. It's not like he's going in without understanding of how he's the impermanent loss works and yeah. where the actual money is lost at and all that good stuff. So oh, okay, when you have a good understanding, you you can take the more risk. It's just how it goes in general, right? Mm -hmm. There's a reason why most people start with just Bitcoin or Ethereum, for example. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, could get yeah. some little two, three X on this, but at the same time, like, you know, you could also end up getting uh, a whole lot more going with other altcoins and all that good stuff. So yeah, yeah, everyone's got to be willing to take their own risk tolerance and be able to sleep at night. That's what matters. Be able to sleep at night. That's very important. Um, yep. I'll be back up and running in a second. People, my camera said not today. Not um, right now. Let's see, let's see who else is in the chat, man. We got a bunch of people here. Um, Gloria as well, uh, Crypto Kobe, what up? Let's go. Hero the Hexagon is here, as always. Good to see you guys, man. Oh, it's a lot. We got what two hundred people live, bro. ATX, man. We popping these days, man. <laughs> what of happened? Course, of course. What happened? I remember we started. We was getting like thirty live. You know what I'm saying? Like now mm -hmm. we up to two hundred. Let's go, people. Appreciate all y'all. Disciples yep. lurking in the chat. He might be on <laughs> soon. <laughs> open this barbershop yeah. I need a cut says Ozzy Stone I'm sure you pulled it up I may have missed it yeah, but Ozzy Stone man, says open yeah. the barbershop I need a cut so you know what yes. I mean please like the video for sure for sure like and subscribe mm -hmm. share this out get it out to so many people as you possibly can mm -hmm. understand what yeah. it is folks yeah man understand so, what it is so what are we we getting red candles out here bro are we are we dumping right now what's going on you know, everyone everyone is uh, capitulating right now again, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. what's funny is I have a little chart drawn, and you can see, you got 50 weeks to shake out the weak hands. And, I mean, we're, guys, we're not we're not too, too far off right now, but we still got, I mean, if you want to talk about shaking out the weak hands, you still got another 38 days to shake out the weak hands before the 50-week yep. level hits, yep. right? And so whenever I look at this little chart right here, this is what, I mean, this is what it means to me. Look, right here, 50 weeks shake out the weak hands. Boom. That's that's the call out. That's when it is. Mm -hmm. Pulse chain launch May or uh, March. Sorry, Pulse chain launch May 12th, 2023. And yeah, right in this time frame, bro. What's gonna happen during that time period? We've already seen people absolutely get rent. But guess what? Guess what, guys? At the end of the day, this is normal. <laughs> okay, uh, bro. Like I was this just is 100 percent normal in crypto. What's going to be funny, and this is uh, something I was just chatting with the Patreon piece too about, is people are going to get, at, like, imagine this, bro. This is Bitcoin. I'll share it for two seconds. Bitcoin hits $74,000. Massively good. He goes down to 64000 People are losing their mind. What happens when Bitcoin goes down to 50000 y'all? And by the way, that would be an average correction of 30%. It's not like it's that far-fetched. 30% corrections yep. happen all the time. So from here, imagine a 30% correction and people go down into the 50k bitcoin price bro imagine the people that are going to be freaking out bro freaking out i, man. I mean they're freaking out I now I, I saw a very funny meme um i wish i could pull it up i may pull it up later but it basically showed like a hot chick you know and it said like bitcoin at sixty-eight thousand last week and then it says yep. bitcoin at sixty-eight thousand today and it was like a you know she looked like a man at that it's just so funny how people have yep. such short-term memory Last yep. week you were so happy Bitcoin was sixty eight thousand. This week it's like, oh fuck, man. You know what I mean? Like, and same with Pulse Chain, bro. You know, like yep. we. This is a part of the game. Disciple made a good point on Twitter today. He said, um, "What did he say?" Disciple. He was like, uh, "Bro, people have such short term memory. You know, like yep. it was. Y'all don't understand that dips are a part of the game, man. We dip before, we dip again, and we go up. It's just corrections happen, y'all." Just right. understand it happens. And, well, this is this is why they say zoom out. This is this is why that yeah. phrase zoom out matters. Zoom out, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is where Pulse Chain was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's where it was. Here's where it is now. Zoom yeah. out. Okay. Zoom out. Zoom, zoom out. out. You think <laughs> it's it. gonna At touch the, the bottom? You think it's going all the way back down to the to the bottom? It, dude, it can go all the way down to four zeros and a six right here mm -hmm. in this region, mm -hmm. and it would still be on a bullish trend. <laughs> like, do I think it goes that low? No. 
right? Yeah, but could it happen? It. Dude, anything's possible sure. in crypto, y'all. That's another thing you're going to learn. Could it go down into this region? 100%. 60% dips happen quite often in crypto, right? So there could be a day where you see Pulse Chain. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't personally think it's going to happen. But there could be a day where it goes down to four zeros and a six, and it would still be in a bullish uptrend. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't know. And, but again, talk about the shaking out the weak hands, man. Got to shake them out, man. Hey, shout out to Derek Purcell with the $5 Super Chat. He says, I cannot wait for this next Pulse Nation stream. I got more Hex, Pulse, and incentive on the dip. Not going anywhere. Shout out to Pulse Nation, man. Facts, bro. Right. Shout out to Pulse Nation, man. Yo, Pulse Nation kept me going, man. In the darkest times of the bear, bro. It was like you needed somebody. Before Pulse Nation, it was Crypto 7, right? Crypto 7. Mm -hmm. Then ATX popped up on the scene. Then we formed Pulse Nation. And it's like, bro, I've been coasting through this bear market man mm. it's coasting mm. very happy i don't see the okay. dips man i only know about the dips when y'all post the charts on twitter i don't i don't even look to check you know what i'm saying for sure and i'm just mad it happened because i done spent all this money and i'm seeing this dip right yo that money could have went right into this dip bro <laughs> so yeah. i'm just sitting there like yo man excited I don't yeah. care where Pulse there's, Chain Yeah, there's, there's always times. And again, I just look at it from a standpoint. Again, I come from a, a frugal mindset already. The whole, you know, mm -hmm. the financial independence, retire early movement. Again, I've said this already mm -hmm. in the past, but there's a reason why there's a fire at the end of my name. It stands for financial independence, retire early. Mm -hmm. um, and so nice. keep that in mind. So whenever I look at it, I come from already this frugal mindset that I looked at it. So I'm like, dude, I can go buy, you know, we'll say a, a $500 camera, a $1,000 camera, a $10,000 mm -hmm. camera, whatever you want right now which is possible, or right. or I can be patient, put mm. that money to work for me in the meantime, whether it be yep. staking my hex, whether it be putting it into Pulse, Pulse X or Incentive, whether it be doing those items, and then mm. letting it be a, a 12 month delay. So that way in 12 months, that $10,000 that was once spent on just a camera that may get used, may not get used, right. could in fact be 100,000, 200,000. Right. So instead of buying right. one camera, you can go buy 10 or sure. 20 or 30 yep. cameras, right? Yep. Then it feels a lot easier to go spend that kind of capital. But what happens is people go spend that money right now. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. could have used that money to invest into a future that bettered oh, themselves, man, but they only can see what's presently in front of them at this time. You can never have enough Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex, bro. That's one thing I know. I sure. feel like that's 100% the case. <laughs> like, yeah, you can never no matter, have enough. So, that's the thing I always say, dude. Have levels and tiers. The first yeah. level, be attainable easily. Second level, a little bit harder. Third level, a little bit harder. Fourth level, a little further. Fifth level, shoot that shit into the like moon. Like, see what happens, right? Have a have a crazy little mindset that says, dude, if I could get this, that would be mind blowing to me. Like, if you have a goal initially of, we'll say, ten million pulse. That's the first level. Second level, hundred million. Third level, two fifty. Fourth level, five hundred. Fifth level, one billion. And mm -hmm. if you start at ten million. To get to a billion, you're like, that's almost like a far-fetched number in your head because maybe that's all that you, you 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 only have a little bit of capital that you can deploy all the time. But over time, just with constant discipline and perseverance, you might not get to a billion, let's just say. What if you get to Facts. 750 million? Congratulations, Facts. you know? Facts. But you put forth a goal to hit different levels. So when you end up attaining your level and goal, please have a higher level and goal. Like, same thing for your portfolio, guys. If your portfolio and you want to say a million dollars, two million dollars, ten million dollars, fifty million dollars, hundred million dollars, put something so far out there and so far fetched that you're like, dude, if it does this, wow. Put something mm. so freaking far out there that's like that's a wild number in your head. Because what happens is you're gonna reach that million dollar portfolio. And then you're gonna be like, What? <laughs> this is more money than I've ever seen. Oh my Just gosh. Wait. Just and wait. what happens is you end up cashing out. You end up selling 50% oh, of the bag. You end up doing all these things. And what people forget to take account of, <laughs> I see Disciple in the chat. So what's up, Disciple? Uh, it's a I very, I, I, I think we're, hey, I think we're guys, afraid. You guys think they know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think you, think you know what the fuck you're. I've been watching these charts all fucking year. Yep. I've been watching them all year. Yep. Now you got RH. He's, he's, the only way he's going up is if he pumps it. <laughs> you're talking about all this staking. Staking, single-sided staking. 
Now, what up, y'all? Yeah, yeah. What up, y'all, man? What up, big homie, man? I just we were talking, what's up, man? We were talking about the uh, the tiers in life, man. The tiers on your portfolio, the tiers that you got to set. Because when you end up hitting certain tiers, if you don't have a higher goal ahead and a further goal ahead, and you don't know what to do when you reach that level, right? So put yourself different tiers, man. When you hit that million dollar portfolio, go for the two, go for the five, go for the ten. Because if you if you lock yourself in at a million and you think that's the highest that you're going to get, then you're going to do something silly and wreck yourself, like yep. cash out. And you're yep. going to do like this market sell. I can't even imagine just market selling just a million dollars because you don't know it any better. But you end up losing 30% of the value right away through slippage, for example. And then, yep. and then all of a sudden you got to pay taxes on that as well. And you didn't plan for the taxes. And then like all these different things that you don't even think about, right? Or you took out the million dollars, and then guess what? You start putting those, those that million dollars into other shit tokens, and then what happens? They do they do terribly, and then what happens? You still owe tax on taking out a million dollars, and so at the end of the year, now you owe this the tax man, you know, three hundred thousand dollars, and you ain't got no money to show for it. I'm just, Good luck. But you didn't set up a plan in place to to, to properly prepare. I'm I'm telling you right now. So make sure that you got set tiers, but not only set tiers, higher goals. Folks, think bigger. Go think bigger. bigger. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to have the mindset for longevity in order to hit those goals. Like, if you're thinking we're just going to go straight to the moon in one shot and you're not understanding how this thing cyclically goes up, you know. But there, yeah. there, are, there are parabolic moves. Don't get, it, don't get it twisted. We've already seen, some, like, many parabolic moves, you yeah. know, that's gotten us back to these levels. But we got bigger things coming. The, the bear market truly has affected a lot of people. Even some of the, your favorite influencers have been affected over this bear market to the point that they want you to believe that this thing can only 2x or 3x from here. Yep. And unfortunately, people are going to take the bait, you know? Yep. But hey, we're just going to keep riding. The game. Part of the game, man. Shake them out. Some people not going to believe. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Like you say, every time I share somebody that's like, oh, I'm done, I'm done with the RH ecosystem, you send that little video where the guy's swirling around his glass and mm -hmm. sipping mm -hmm. it. Sensational. Excellent. Sensational. <laughs> Sensational. Get out. Get, Get out, out, man. We, we want him out of here, I love bro. that. I love that so much. Yeah, that gift, man, yes. every single time. Every single time mm -hmm. something happens, you just get that sensational, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shake out the weekends, bro. Not yeah. everybody can uh, hold, bro. You know. Yeah. No, nah, yeah, but yeah, one, no, of, the, one them, of the things I that actually, I think. Go ahead. I'm go sorry. Ahead. No, I was gonna say I actually, man. Look, I added. A, I started an ink form because I wasn't forming my ink. I was just kind of collecting it from the uh, other LP yep. that I had been going for the whole time. And then, I, you know, I've collected enough uh, ink now to where it's pretty. It's a nice little bag, man. It's a nice yep. little bag. So I was like, what am I doing with this right now? I want this everything to keep making me money, man. So I, I set that thing up and bonded it with some. Uh, PLS, I believe. I think I, I, I paired it with PLS. And uh, man, I checked it this morning. I was like, ask oh, you, champ. Man. Let me ask you, bro. You gonna hold that ink or you gonna swap that ink for some Paul Sex, man? What you thinking about doing with that ink, man? Probably in the future. In the future, I'll end up swapping it. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, man, I'm really excited to see what happens with it, man. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what it will, you know, because I'll, I'll use that ink and peel off a little profit and pay off some things that I got going on this side, put it in the fiat and actually... Uh, I got some things that I want to do later on this year. Facts. So Facts. I'm looking at if ink performs the way that we think it could, I might not ever touch my PLS, PLXX bags until right. shit. You might buy a car with that ink. You yeah. might uh, make a car right. payment with that ink. You yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. Passive yeah. income, baby. Passive yeah, so income. I'm really excited about what ink is doing. I don't know where it's going to go or how it's going to work out or as the bull uh, uh, as the bull market continues to ro rock, but right, I remember y'all showing those uh, the uh, test net numbers. I was like, God, oh, oh my goodness. Yep. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, dude, there's um, there's there's definitely different strategies when it comes to to yield farming. I guess we can just talk about it real quick, you know, since yeah, we're bringing it. it up on topic. So, 
So uh, when it comes to yield farming, by the way, if y'all have any questions about this stuff, like I put a little video in the description that says like how to yield farm, all that good stuff. So if you actually want to, you're welcome to go check it out after you're done watching this one and just try to learn some more information if we don't exactly cover all the exact topics right here because today, just a quick little tutorial video. So when it comes to yield farming, first, we're just talking about yield farming only on PulseX. I don't care about yield farming on any other protocol. I'm not yield farming on any other protocol. Just FYI, okay? So... The first thing you have to do is you have to set up liquidity. You have to buy both tokens. So in this example, you have to fir first figure out what tokens that you need. So you go into PulseX and you go into the farms. This is only on V1. By the way, dude, I can't wait for this. Dude, whenever I see this go here and these go live. Anyways, neither here nor there. <laughs> only on V1. Okay, so first you look into the farms and you say, okay, cool. PLSX, PLS. That makes sense. Die PLS. Stablecoin, USDC to PLS, wrapped Ethereum to PLS, USDT to PLS. This just tells you what two tokens that you need, okay? So the first thing is understanding that you need 50-50. So if you have any of these tokens and you have $2,000 in one token, you got to have $2,000 in the other token. That is how this basically works. This is not a V3 system, meaning you can do one more than the other. This is 50-50. So with that 2000 and 2000, you would then go into the protocol. Say you wanted to do the ink pulse farm, like example for what Disciple was talking about. When you go into, you actually need to get the ink pulse WL or uh, the ink pulse LP token. So you actually need to go in here and open up that token. So you need to buy whatever it is. So if you have, we'll say uh, 20 million pulse, you would need to have 406 ink in order to open this particular farm because once again it is a 50 50 split so if i have 2581 here i gotta have 2581 here pretty easy to understand how that works the next thing is understanding your percentage of the pool this kind of matters but not really too too much this would matter more so if it actually came down to um this would actually matter it, it matters some but again like we aren't actually earning the uh, lp fees this is only for earning ink okay nice. so Make sure you're on V1. Mm -hmm. If the goal is to earn the incentive token, you can only do so on V1. I will okay. say again, you can only do so on V1. So make sure that you add the liquidity inside of V1. Once you have your liquidity set up, you would actually go back in here once again and actually put that LP into the farm and just insert the LP into the farm and start earning some incentive token. Mm -hmm. Now you can guesstimate how much you might be able to get based on your daily average. So in this situation, we did 5,000. I'll just keep it simple on this one. You would end up getting roughly around 1.28 per day. Damn. <laughs> this is keeping it very simple. <laughs> but keep in mind, be this be number is most likely to go down. Okay. Yeah. The more people that join the farm, the lower the APR goes. The lower the lower the ink is you're gonna get so don't just put this out for say a year and be like if i kept this for one year it would be 596 <laughs> incentive token chances are you're not earning that same apr for that entire year so if you are trying to estimate the one day and seven day are pretty good estimators to say this is a good ballpark of what you can expect in at least the short term future so in a week, you would earn roughly around 8.5 uh, 8 ink per week. Damn. And this is at just $6 right now for the ink token. So imagine it goes back up to $10, for example. That's $80 per week you would just be Ooh. earning in yield. Passive income. <laughs> Once you're set in here, you can harvest whenever you want. There is no limit to how many times you can harvest. You can do it daily, you can do it hourly, you can do it weekly, you can do it monthly. You decide when you want to harvest, but you must decide at some point to harvest or you just let it keep reaping on the ink in the meantime. Now, what is the purpose of harvesting? Well, mm -hmm. one, you can harvest your incentive token earned and go back and add more lo liquidity inside this pair to expedite the process and compound your gains a little bit faster. You can also take the yield earned and swap it for additional tokens that you may be wanting to buy more of. So say, for example, you want to get more pulse, you can take the ink and just swap it for pulse. Mm -hmm. You can also use it to cash out. And that last one is the last little bit that I'll say. So yeah, out yeah. of all those, you can just do whatever you decide to do. At the end of the day, you got to make that decision. Wh now, which one you think is the safest one and why? Like safest, pulse, pulse X. 
You're right. right. Why? Because so far, the ratio for Pulse and Pulse X have damn near been identical for a close Bingo. one to two ratio, right? So if right. I go and pull up Pulse X, for example, on a quick chart, just so that way y'all can see this for a moment here and just get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. This is kind of showing that right now the ratio is close to about one to two. If you want to, I can actually flop the pair so it actually looks a little better. It makes more sense. So mm. let's just use this as the example. So again, it makes, whoops, I didn't mean to click that again. I meant to click here and hide. No problem. So this is basically showing that for every uh, one pulse, you would get 2.2 pulse X. That's basically what this is showing, okay? We've gotten this pretty much since the launch of Pulse Chain, anywhere between a four to one ratio to a two to one ratio, and with an average of around three to one. Mm -hmm. So it pretty much bounces in here. So if it wants to go down to two to one, you just have to be patient and wait, and it may end up going back to, down to a four to one ratio and be patient and wait, and it may go back down to a two to one ratio. <laughs> None of this really matters when you're farming. Why? Because you are earning the incentive token the entire time. So inside mm -hmm. of here, you're going to get very little what's called impermanent loss. Impermanent right. loss is when something just basically way outperforms the other token. When you're in the yield farm, if you don't know, or when you're providing liquidity, when mm -hmm. one token way outperforms the other token, you get less of that token that performed better and more of the token that performed worse. So one of Bingo. the riskier plays, one of the riskiest plays, should I say, is being inside a stable coin, non-stable coin farm. Beautiful. A die to pulse farm, a USDC to pulse farm, a USDT to pulse farm. Mm -hmm. These three are going to be the riskiest out, out of all of them. Because if pulse chain, should I say when pulse chain goes and does a 10x and you're inside this farm, all of the pulse is going to be converted into a stable coin. Okay. Ooh. So you got to be able to understand that risk alone by being in here. Do you get to earn more? Yes. There's a reason why the APR is the highest out of these choices because it is the riskiest, whereas this one is the lowest. Why? Because it Bro. is the safest. If, if that pulse does a 10x on you and you stuck in there, man. Please come home. I got bees and lonely. So this is a brief example of how it works. If one token goes off and does a 10x, that is a 1,000% move, okay? Well, actually, technically, it's a 900% move. Whatever, neither here nor there. And the other token, which is a stable coin, meaning you will not get any price appreciation on a stable coin. A stable coin doesn't move. Why? Because it's considered to be a stable coin. Yeah, there's some fluctuations between it bouncing around a dollar, but you're not going to see a 2x or a 10x, and you're not going to drop 30%, 50% either. It has that same move. It's a stable coin. It stays stable. So with this said, a 10x move on Pulse Chain, a 0% move on the stable coin that you're in would give you a 42% impermanent loss. Okay. Now, if you don't understand what that means, again, just basically means you just lost 42% of the Pulse back. Yeah. We keep it simple on an easy way. Yeah. You don't have to get real technical on this, but that's, so uh, that's how it works. The way I look at it is like, let's say you have some profits that you put into stables. And you don't mind, you don't, you know, it's kind of, I, and I think someone just mentioned it. I was going to say that it's kind of a way you can DCA out with, with a bag. Yep. If you're looking to, if you're looking to go into stables, yep. more stables down the line as the price appreciates, then that, that's a form that you want to enter into because you're actually wanting to get stables to DCA out. Right. Without so, you know, it's just got to be mindful of like your, your strategy and what you, or what you want to do and. Yep. and everything like that and, and use the system to your advantage yep you same know? thing mm -hmm. can be said uh when it comes to on the flip side of that too uh during say a bear market so whenever the top of the bull is in if you want to get more of your position and more pulse and more uh, of your token you would put it inside one of these farms because mm. the die that you have or the stable coin that you have will just automatically buy the pulse as the dip goes because that means yep. that pulse is underperforming the stable coin so all of your stable coin, meaning it performed better than your other token, would just be swapping into the pulse token. So it's a beautiful way of getting more. It's like DCAing in as well during a bear market. So that is a great strategy you can use uh, on the upside to cash out and DCA out. You can also use to uh, DCA in during a bear. So keeping all yeah. that in mind, 
these are the riskiest the die stable the any stable coin non-stable coin riskiest okay mm -hmm. however mm -hmm. gives you some more apr so you can see the difference in here say you had five thousand instead right, yeah. remember Let's how he see. said remember how he said with the uh, uh pulse ink. pulse x you would earn roughly around eight this one gets yep. you roughly around 18 ink per week okay close to 19. Ooh. So you do get to earn more at a faster rate, but you also run the risk that Pulse could just moon and do a 3x tomorrow, right? Or Don't. a 5x tomorrow. Don't get and wrecked. in those situations, if it does a, a 3x, you're not really noticing too much. Right here, a, a, a 3x is a 13% impermanent loss. You can probably make up the difference between how much ink you've actually earned and what the rewards are and blah, 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 blah. So that's kind of like that little, that last little one. If you're not trying to take that much risk, you're probably pretty safe there, okay? But just ATX, know. Damn, y'all can hear that. Y'all can hear that fire alarm. Damn, y'all got. That's in my picking up everything. <laughs> ATX man, could you run a play? Can you do like a fifty grand play on the incentive token with that uh, that hundred percent APR at hundred oh, hundred twenty percent? Yeah. So I just so want to see. Up, yeah. So back over here. And, uh, and, see, and so. again, I got I got buddies who are playing this like this exactly the same way you just said. So they're going in heavy over here, right? So say you did fifty grand instead, right? So now in the span of one day, you would earn roughly around twenty six ink per day. In a week, you would get one hundred eighty four ink per week, and in thirty days, you're looking at eight hundred twenty two ink per month. So people are doing this. People are in fact doing this, meaning you would have to put up $25,000 worth of pulse, $25,000 worth of die. You throw it in there because it's a 50-50 split. Good luck. You let it ride. And then you say, cool, during that time in 30 days, I have 822 additional ink, which right now is only valued at $5,200. But we've seen what happens when the ink just reaches, say, $10 again, that 822. Bro, that's scary, bro. Um, you know, you start you start getting into a bigger number over here where now you're at eight thousand, and uh, you start making up some of that difference on the impermanent loss and all those things, right? So it is it is possible, uh, but again, with risk. God, I ain't touching it, man. It, it, it looks juicy, but I did not want to get my coins fucked over. Right. Yeah, so be I'm, careful, y'all. I'll, I'll share, I'll share, I'll share it as, as simple as I possibly can. I only do fifteen percent of my portfolio in yield farms, personally. I'm okay with taking that kind of risk, right? Ooh. I got buddies who go 100%. And so they just outpace me in terms of the amount that they earn. But that's cool because I sleep at night with a comfort level saying I'm earning ink while ATX, I'm sleeping. I'm earning you told me 10%, man. Where'd you go with the 50%? <laughs> no, 15. No, 15. 15. No, 15. 15. 15. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, 50, I'm tripping. Dude. I'm tripping. I thought yeah, you said 50. I'm about to Bro. Bro. Hey, I got greedy. Don't get, don't I saw the crazy. ink. <laughs> don't go no, crazy, y'all. My bag is 15%. It's very simple. 15, 15 one, five. Uh, my buddy, okay, okay. 100%, right? And so does he earn Damn. more than me? Absolutely, okay? Does he, How's he it been going take for that him? risk? Dude, it's going great for him. Are you kidding it's me? It's going great, huh? And wow. so, you, so, so you, that's the thing. You hear some of these plays and you say, dude, he's doing it. Why don't I just do it, right? And at the end of the day, I find comfort knowing that I'm good where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, I don't have yeah, yeah. to take the additional risk. Sleep at night, yes. I sleep at night, right? It's mm -hmm. the same thing as like people who are in some of these other protocols like earn or liquid loans and they're at like this 110 collateralization ratio. That's silly and stupid to me. That's dumb. 100%, man. But they're willing 100%. to do that risk. And for some people, that's a risk that I'm not willing to take. And dude, I saw someone get liquidated. Jack Plevin got fucking liquidated for 2.6 billion <laughs> pulse X the other day. Oh, I, I saw somebody get liquidated for three bill. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, man, That's hold crazy. on, hold on. Before y'all finish that statement, man. Please come home. I got beans and lonely. <laughs> and, and let me just read this comment because I love this comment, man. Steve, man, he says... You guys are the only ones worth watching now besides Katie. Hexagons have lost their way following a shit trader like so-and-so who came into Hex late and disregarded it. That's facts, bro. That's facts, man. How many people right. have you seen turn evil during the bear market, man? Right. Just weird. Yeah. Weird so, vibes. So, so, again, like, yeah, there's so many people, bro. So many people, yeah, man. so many. Uh, and then, again, like, 
it's not gonna stop y'all and there's a reason why yeah. so few make it in crypto there's a reason why so few make it into the years into the future into the into the you know into the far and beyond because they can't see past today they can't see past this week they can't see past this month and so everyone's like well if that thing does this everyone's gonna make so much money no everyone gets rinsed along the way because they freak out over a 20 percent pullback a 30 percent pullback everyone gets absolutely yeah. rinsed and and then they sell bottoms and they try to buy tops and then they end up with half their stack that they had if they had just done nothing all this happens over and over and over it's the psychology of markets man it happens yeah. not only in crypto it's even faster in crypto but it happens in all markets, man. All markets. I, I used to watch a trader who traded Tesla back when it was like trading at freaking uh, $30 or something crazy like that, right? right and right. he was doing some trades and he lost and he won and he, he lost. And you look at it and if he just held, Tesla's $163 right now, right? If all he had done was just hold. And he was trading in bags of tens of thousands of dollars at a time. And you're like, bro, bro, all yeah. you had to do is just freaking hold. You right? could have put yourself in a coma, man. Put yourself in a hospital, right. and you would have been fine. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, and that's yeah, how I, that's yeah. How Tesla I do. trading back freaking thirty dollars back in 2020, 2019, right? Wow. Somewhere in that range. And and again, that's not that far. Four years, guys. Oh my gosh, it's forever. Not really. Not really. Not and then really. you're looking at it from there, and you could have four x the bag if you had just done nothing. And that's when Tesla's actually going down. Imagine if you look at it from the stand of where it went up all the time, right? Tesla actually ended up hitting at one point in time $340 or $390 at one point. So you're like a 10x the bag, so, you know, 8x the bag, yes. 9x the bag. But he couldn't wait, couldn't hold. They traded it out. And guess what? They end up with way less tokens at the end of the day. So that's why not everyone's going to be able to make it. That's why you don't see people get, getting rich in crypto everywhere. Um, yep. And so oh, I just want to share that with everyone. Regard. Keep that in mind. It really does. Yeah, it bro. really does matter. Yeah, you got to broaden your time horizon. How, you know, when Paul Slunt hasn't been a year out. It hasn't been a year, y'all. Come on, what are we talking about? And then there's people that'll say, "Oh, but we waited two years for it to launch." That don't count, bro. Paul's yep. chain has not been out for a year, and you guys are just right. going. Where are all these meme coins that everybody was buying? The other DOA and all this. Who are we still talking about that? Y'all still buying that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I haven't heard luck, anybody talk man. about nothing. But that's also because I muted everybody me too. Me too. <laughs> me too. And I was like, you want to promote anything? Muted. I was just like, mute, block, mute, I'm block. Dude, my block Twitter got so much dog. better. <laughs> yes, bro. I muted one guy, the fuzzy slipper guy. Twitter yep. is just fucking 100%. incredible. Incredible, 100%. dog. One thousand percent, as a matter of fact, dude. That was one yeah, of those uh, all day. I, 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 can't, I, I couldn't quite, I couldn't quite understand what was going on and the way I was feeling. But then I was like, bro, negative, bro, negative, every negative. Every five seconds, every, yeah. negative, bro. Well, it's nah, just I'm like good. it was flipping and flopping. And, and again, when you when you tote the line, you're gonna be one side right, one side wrong, and eventually your call is gonna be correct. You know, it's just how, how it goes, right? You could be a mega bull and and, and just wait for Ooh. it to, you know, show what the time shows you, or or you could just play the line and what guess what game more followers game more subscribers and all that good stuff right yep, yep, like yep, that's yep, how it yep. goes man but then people get absolutely rinsed i like this passive yep. income um <laughs> i love that's, that i'm gonna jump off here that. man I'm, uh, I'm just gonna listen in the background man uh, appreciate you big hope appreciate hey, you man so great stuff it, man man. let's absolutely, keep rocking man for sure yeah man but also you're um, earning ink in the meantime uh so small bet on ink potential along the way uh, also, mm -hmm. if you were just farming forever uh, or long term, then you don't mind that move. So, so another reason why. So let's just go back for like two seconds, just because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I want to. I want to talk more about the let's the pulse pulse X. And guys, I, I don't. I don't want y'all like at the end of the day. Understand, you make the decision as to going in these plays. I'm not a hundred percent in these plays, and I just can't make that clear enough. I guess, but I gotta share it with you because people do it. If you just put your Pulse and Pulse X in here, you will earn ink passively during the entire time. Mm -hmm. Not only that, so looking at this, based on what we just saw a moment ago, even if incentive, or not the incentive, even if Pulse Chain goes off and does a 50X, which we'll just say is a 5,000%, and yep. Pulse Chain goes and does a, uh, let's just say 3,000, which is a 30X, Guess what your impermanent loss? Oh, see, the impermanent loss right there is 29%. Because that was a bad move on that one, because that's not really correct, the ratios. Okay, okay. Let me actually pull up what the actual correct one would be on this one. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Mm-hmm. Yo, um, 
Y'all turned up in chat, man. Brazology making people laugh. Man, what what Brazology say, man? Shout out to Brazology, man. Standing up against some of these assholes out here, man. Appreciate you, yep. big homie. Brazology. Oh, I solid, realized bro. what I did. I'm so stupid. Um, I'm why already so stupid. So, the reason why my math was off right there is because I just did the ink price, uh, the Pulse X price, doing a, a a lot more, and I did a 300x for the Pulse X and Pulse Chain only doing a 50x. So mm -hmm. let's just say the pulse chain or flip flop doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. Let's just say pulse X in this example, since I got my boy Wes on the channel. Mm -hmm. Pulse X mm -hmm. goes and does a 50x. Mm -hmm. Pulse chain only goes and does a 30x. The impermanent loss is three percent. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's 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 not bad. And during that entire time, guess what? You've earned additional ink as a passive token just by yield farming. And let's just assume this one goes off and does a 500x, and this one goes off and, and does, let's just even say, uh, based on the ratios, we're looking at basically a two to one ratio right now, right? So we're just gonna say a two to one ratio. It's a 5% impermanent loss. Now, 5% may be a lot for some, but if you're earning the ink token during the entire time, it's really not that much because you offset it by the amount of ink that you've earned. And then if yep. ink goes off and does its own run as well, say, going back up to its previous all-time high of $80 again, you've way offset the impermanent loss in that regard. Like, ink doesn't have to go that far in order for you to offset the impermanent loss in that regard. You just have to say, hey, how long would it take me to make 5%? And so you go back in here, and you go yeah. back into uh, this screen, and you say, how long would it take to earn, you know, 5%? So this is 19% a year is kind of what it's saying, right? The 19% right. APR. So you do... Uh, 19.97 divided by 365, uh, which would get you roughly around 0 0.05, and it would take you how long to get to 5% divided by 5? Uh, it would take you roughly around 100 days to make up that 5% difference. Oh and God, that's just if price just stayed flat. And again, the ink price could go off and do another 2x, 3x, and obviously yep. that shortens the time down from 100 to 50 days. And then if it goes down even more, to 25 days or whatever the case yep. may be so yep. it is that's by far the safest and you can just let it rock and roll there you don't have to you don't have to try to go play with all these other shitty protocols and try to go put your freaking pulse at risk by getting liquidated or your pulse x at risk by getting liquidated you don't have to man you just it's put it in, in here and earn ink. Like, it's, what? it's all in house you've seen the power of ink right do not disrespect right it's a beautiful token Passive income, baby. Yep. Let's win, man. And, Shout and, out to and Toby Wan. Back to, Toby here. You know, back to over yeah. here. If you just did 50,000 over here, let's just say in a day or in a week, you would still earn 30 ink per week on Pulse Pulse X Farm right now, right? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. that's not even, that's the safest play that you can possibly do. And you would have 50,000. So you have 25,000 in Pulse, 25,000 in Pulse X. You throw it inside the farm, you earn 29 ink per week. And then you do the math and you say, cool, what if after this bull market, 29 ink per, per or 29 ink ends up being $80 again? That's $2,300 that you earned in a week. <laughs> if you just held the ink token, you didn't do anything with it. You didn't trade it. You didn't sell it. You didn't do anything with it. You left it in there. You didn't harvest. Hey, you just man. let it rock and roll. You didn't compound. You didn't do anything. You just let it rock and roll. It goes back up to $80. Every single week right now, that would basically be earning $2,300 is what that bro, basically amounts to right now. Is that not better than buying real estate, man? Jesus. So much better, bro. So, so much better. Much you don't have better. any overhead capital. You don't have any no management fees. Tenants. You don't have any property expenses. Oh, you don't have God. Tenants to worry about. You don't have to worry about none of that, bro. I love it here, man. I love it. Here. I'm glad we talked about this today, man, because people were sleeping on it, man. I was sleeping yep. on it. You know, like it's, it's, it's real, man. You can make money yep. while you sleep, bro. Fascinating. Shout out to yep. Richard Hart. Shout out, shout out to Richard Hart for sure, man. So much love to Richard yeah. Hart, dude. Appreciate everything that you're doing. I, I feel like, uh, uh, so I feel like this is the old way of doing it. This is like, this is how like the older generation does it. Apparently the, the new generation does, does ah. it like this. Like that. I don't even know. Ah. How, how's it go? Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible with it. Yeah, I'm terrible with it. <laughs> I don't even know how like the new generation does it. It's something like this where they end up doing oh, okay. this. Yeah. I don't even know, man. I, again, I don't know the exact one, how it goes. I, I'm still doing it wrong. It's all good. Hey, what am I man. doing wrong here? I'm going to try to get that figured out. Shout out to Richard Hart, man. And hey, man, some good news uh, coming along. We got the merch is almost ready. We'll let y'all know soon when you can go purchase some uh, Pulse Nation gear. You see it. 
Got the hoodies, the t-shirts, the jerseys, yep. soccer jerseys, sweatshirts. Oh my God. Oh my God. Prices is low. Look at this. We're gonna have beautiful. the kids' gear. Oh my yep. God. Fascinating. Look at the joggers, man. I might give you some Pulse Nation joggers real quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> Special, man. I'm very yes, excited. Sir. Man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's coming. Everyone's soon. asking for the merch, so it's it's around the corner, man. Everyone's yeah. asking for the merch, so it's coming. I ordered samples. I just want to see if the logo looks right and everything's crispy. And once that's all good to go, we'll launch the site and, and y'all ready to buy. Yep. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yep. And so, so yeah, Tesla to the 10X in five years. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying, man. Wait. It's down, wait. you know, more than 60%. Like, that's how it goes, man. Like, Tesla is one of those, like, Tesla's almost like crypto for stocks. But, you know, mm -hmm. at the same time, mm -hmm. that's just because, you know, Elon just be doing crazy shit. And not focus yeah, yeah, on yeah. one he has like you know 70 different projects that he does at once um yep yep yep. and so elon, yeah tesla takes a hit <laughs> elon got the whole car market under under control man but why don't you find the elon of crypto man i think that's hey. richard hart man i hey. think that's richard hart um, i agree no one's better nobody's smarter nobody knows more the dude got a shit ton of money and he's about to have a shit ton more good luck yep yep good luck you know um, yeah the hardest thing to do is nothing yeah 100 percent. like that the that is facts right there, man. That is sometimes, facts. Sometimes doing nothing is uh, crazy. Can you show the process of ending a farm? What do you mean? You just really, like at the end of the day. So I don't know. I, I can't really like show you, but I can I guess pull it up real quick just to kind of give you like a little rundown. So at the end of the day, say you've done whatever, you've you've compounded all of your your ink, you've done everything that you want. There'll be a minus button over here that you can just simply click on. And when you click on it, it allows you to actually remove the liquidity or the LP tokens that you put in there. So once you remove those LP tokens, you go back into the liquidity. You'll actually see it show up right here. And you just remove the liquidity from here. You'll then have your incentive token that you've earned the entire time. You'll then have your original tokens that you have split and separated as at the time that you decide to pull your liquidity. If that makes sense. If, right. if it doesn't. I right. have a video, I think, describing it, maybe. I don't know. I don't know oh, if I explained the ending part of it. I don't, I don't it's, know. It's, like, it's not as hard as you think, man. Um, you know, and yeah. but don't don't go playing around with it. Make sure you watch. We're going to put a video in the description so you can learn the entire process. But um, yeah, just just don't go playing around, man. Don't screw yourself. But be careful, man. I've seen this funny ass comment, man. Dost easy. Is there a sacrifice for the birch? <laughs> 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 we ain't doing that. You know, we don't do that. Oh That's man. Funny. That's and I funny. saw another comment from Steve Mandy, man. I wanted to run through that if I could find it real quick. Okay, he says, I've been around since 2014 in Bitcoin and in the Hex community since the start. The Hexagons have cannibalized their own community with sacrifice after sacrifice, shitcoin after shitcoin. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. You know, um, we don't need 10,000 coins. We don't need 20,000 coins, all right? Like, you know, relax. You got your coins out, cool. If people buy it, great, but Let's let's hold off. Let's let this thing do the numbers we thought it would do first and then bring all your bullshit projects over and then maybe we'll buy into it then after everybody's right. rich, you know, so. Yep. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And so a lot of people did get hurt with the farming in the beginning because, you know, you don't understand ratios, you don't understand liquidity, you don't understand all that good stuff. So many people got scared off in the early stage. And what's funny, uh, you know, I, I, I'll leave this like kind of in a simple way. Many people are getting scared off in the ecosystem right now for Hex, for Pulse Chain, for Pulse X. And you got people who are brand new, who have not been in the community, who have never heard. And they're just buying up these prices because they see them and they're just like, scoop it up, scoop it up. They aren't paying attention to like all the other noise outside. And everyone else is like, who's been in the community for a while, who's been here for a while, are scared to make a play. And so what happens is they just end up outperforming. And they, they get so much more tokens than you and they get so much bigger of a bag and then the bull market comes and then they get a bigger return because they didn't know any better. They're just like going in. Right, like it, right. It's the, uh, it's basically, uh, what's it called whenever you, uh, the Dunning-Kruger effect, right? It's basically like right. you think you're smart and you have this whole play happening and you think you're going in and you're like, dude, 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 I'm here, I'm here, right? And then you start figuring out some shit. So first you start off knowing nothing. You're like, oh my God, I don't know shit. And you just do shit. And what do you get lucky or not or you end up getting hurt or not you just like oh, i don't know i didn't know any better whatever and then you end up there's yep. this like point in time where you just end up in like this average little joe area and then you end up down below where you're like way too fucking smart for your own good 
yeah, right? Yeah, and that's yeah, that's yeah. where you also end up getting hurt because then you also like, well, I would never do that because of this, this, and this, and this, and this. And uh, that over analytics yeah. can also be a paralyzing effect as well. And so sometimes you get the people who just don't know any better, who just like, oh, just whatever, boom, and then they just freaking skyrocket, bro. It's hilarious. <laughs> I it's see. Hilarious. Uh... Tim Moore says, uh, are there any tax consequences when you put pairs into a pool? Honestly, I don't know. I think that's something I'm going to have to research after this. ATX, I don't know. Do you know or, or is that something we're just going to have to look into? Oh, man. Everything is tax. Let's just keep it simple, yeah, bro. Let's see, uh, yeah, yeah. You earn, you earn that, yield and whenever you end up, like, getting yield, that's, that, you know. But again, you uh -oh. got to figure out your own person to get that done. Tim Toby wants the secrets, man. I don't know if this is a Patreon only or Toby wants says, can you drop a link for the impermanent loss calculator helped an onboard become a farmer last night? Can you do that, ATX? Or is that well, I mean, that's, that? yeah, it's CoinGecko, bro. I don't know. I'm yes. not, there I'm you not go. doing yeah. crazy. Okay, CoinGecko, cool, cool, impermanent cool. loss. Like, you know. There you go. There you go. CoinGecko, yeah, impermanent available. loss. Co CoinGecko right here. Impermanent loss calculator right there. I think you could even go over to uh, learn or products. I don't even I don't remember where I ended up doing it anymore over here. NFT, definitely not NFT. Learn. Uh, yeah, just type it in on get uh, on, on Google. Go. Type in Coin Gecko and hey, Loss Calculator, and boom. Shout out, Toby, oh. man. Appreciate the super. Oh, chat, I could just drop it in the chat, I guess. One hundred percent, man. Boom, dropped oh, it in the chat man. for you, my friend. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Shout out, Toby, one man. We appreciate the super chat. And with that being said. I think we need to take a quick commercial break. Make sure you guys subscribe. You die to me. Look at me now. I'm up in my section. I'm blowing aloud. Living it up. And I'm the man of my town. Repping it right here. I'm holding it down. Take yeah. this time to like, comment, and subscribe to Post Nation. I ain't worried about nothing. 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 Toby again with the T. Toby with the T says, my tax attorney and accountant consider entering and exiting LP is a migration, so it's not taxable. When you swap your ink, it will be all capital gains and you get it at zero cost. There you go, yeah. man. And everyone's going to have a different thing, man. Like you could talk yeah. to uh, 15 different tax people and you'll get 15 different answers because <laughs> at the end of the day, it's crazy. I appreciate you sharing that information. But again, like if you go talk to your own tax professional and they don't say the same thing, just anticipate that because mm -hmm. there's not really clear rules and regulations in crypto, right? There's just that whole little mix up in the first place that you should only really be taxed if you're actually taking capital gains into cash and fiat. And then in the meantime of you being in the crypto world, shouldn't. But again, I have people who say every transaction you do is a taxable event. I have people who say nothing is like, all these yeah, things yeah. are, are uh, still getting figured out. So just keep that in mind, folks. Do your um, own research, man. That's important. D Y O R. Man. Yes. Uh, -Y -O -R crypto X is. Sure. And anyone crying about RH ecosystem, this is part of the process. This is how it performs well because this ensures only a few will be at the finish line. That is facts. That is facts, man. Disciple. Uh, Pulse Nation is the best show in crypto. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> I agree, man. I agree. <laughs> God, I love doing this, man. I love doing this. And you know yep. what's crazy? We don't realize it right now. <laughs> oh, I've seen that. We don't realize it right now, but in a couple years, man, you know, we could be able to say we saved Audio. some people. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I'm cutting out. Guys, no, I just went, went loud for a second, but it came back. All good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was just gonna say, man, it's it's crazy that like a couple years from now, like we'll be able to say we we saved some people, man. You know that'd be yeah. pretty dope. That'd be pretty sure. dope, man. It'd be even better when uh, when I you can see the uh, you know people, <laughs> you can see the people who's made money and all that good stuff, right? Like mm -hmm. it's always fun when you can help other people and save them and all that good stuff. It's even better when you can like truly change their lives and yes. you know I think that's where uh, the billionaire mindset comes into play. A billionaire can has the ability to go make millionaires, right? And so like that's. Yes that's a billionaire right you could be rich by yourself on an island or you can help others find true wealth as well and wow. that's what rh is doing for us right now he's giving us a platform to not have to pay exorbitant gas fees like on ethereum shit i i saw very briefly the other day ethereum was in the 20 gray region and i hadn't seen that for a damn near a month and it's still up in the 30s right now again 42 dollars to swap a token that's too freaking much guys you can go swap oh, on man. pulse chain for pennies 
I'm, yeah, I'm, exactly. Look, man, I'm gonna go ahead with Crypto Seven and agree, bro. Shout out to Crypto Seven first of all, man. Appreciate you, dog. You've been here all throughout the bear. You've been positive, been bullish. We appreciate influencers and streamers like you. Make sure y'all go follow Crypto Seven on Twitter. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. He says Pulse Nation has caused Pulse to pump. Yep. Bro, every time we stream, bro. Okay, yep. Crypto Wonder messages. Yo, go back to the dates. Check the dates when we stream. Um, that's the pump. Yeah, that's happening. Um, yo, I don't know what else to tell y'all, bro. <laughs> go check this stream, the last stream. Why? I'm telling you, man. Post Nation is not. RH is aligned with us, bro. He's telling. He's trying to tell y'all. All right. You seen the tweet when when I went up at your homeboy, your favorite, and he put yep. that tweet out about traders. Come on, bro. I, I don't gotta keep telling y'all. Right. Good luck. Yep. Good luck, man. 100% man and and again like what's funny is uh even if the price was to go all the way back down like we talked about in the very beginning and it goes back down to the four zeros and a six right I mean we are still on a bullish trajectory at that point in time as crazy as that freaking is for everyone just keep yes. that in mind but eventually eventually there will be a point in time where folks these prices will not be seen again right it's it's tough <laughs> Never tough, to, it's tough to imagine <laughs> It's tough to imagine because of recency bias. It's tough to imagine because of the bear. It's tough to imagine Short this ecosystem memory, pumping for some man. people. Yep. Keep yep. in mind that in the future, and you look it back at this day right here, these prices won't be seen again, folks. And I do mean future, not just like, oh, tomorrow's the future. No, bro. Yo, next cycle. moving like that? Yeah. Damn, I'm next looking at cycle. this chart. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, next that's cycle. It, that's what I'm saying. Next cycle is going to be where you're going to get that whole whole thing. And again, you're never going to see these prices again. So assume, hey, even if you buy right now, and, and guys, for whatever reason, if you buy and it dips, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because you're still getting a price that will never be seen again in the future, folks. Yep. <laughs> yep. Damn. Yep, that's it. Damn. I love that that's chart. It. Yep. I love that chart, baby. Woo. Yep, and, and again, all all it takes is is again just people coming in. Uh, people are gonna get tired of the ETH fees. There is a true narrative. Not only that, all the tokens were copied over and forked over on Pulse Chain on March uh, on on May twelfth. So like any tokens people were holding, they all got copied over. So there will be a point in time where this thing does have true narrative. It's okay for everything to play out as it is right now. If you just step away from the computer, if you don't have the ability to look at or to buy. Just take a break from looking at the price, right? If you're looking yes. for a better opportunity, yeah, then look at the price for a better opportunity, sure. But don't harp yes. on it and make you feel some type of way. Shout out to this comment on the screen. I appreciate <laughs> that. That is fantastic. <laughs> Prince is in the chat, oh, baby. Go ahead, go ahead. 100%. Oh, no, no, you you're good, you're good. Yeah. yeah, we are, man. We, we represent RH, bro. We were, shout out to Brizology again, though, man. I seen Brizology in the trenches battling some of these assholes, man. Good for you, bro. Good yep. for you, man. We ain't afraid of nobody, man. We ain't afraid of no fud. Mm. Yeah, so you can't. Yeah. So again, this is one of those. This uh, Grandpa Pulse is talking about this right here. What about borrowing the max from liquid loans? But believe uh, loan tokens or loan tokens are not taxable. Cost you ten percent to be liquidated. Uh, much lower than capital gains. Yeah, so when you actually get liquidated, that is a taxable event, by the way. Um, just FY, mm -hmm. in case you didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, you know, you say 10%, that is a possibility. Everyone has a different number there as well. So you're going to talk to many different tax professionals who, de who do say different things. Yes, the loan taken out possibility is there in the future. However, many people don't plan that far ahead. And so what happens is they don't see into the future that far. They get liquidated well before. They lose 2.6 billion Pulse X right now. And then the sucker goes off and does 100X. Like, how mad would you be if you lost 100,000 right now, which is 2.6 billion, damn near. Right? You lost 100,000, and then it goes off and does 100X. That's $10 million. Like, cool. You look at it, and you're like, oh, it's just 100,000. You got a million-dollar portfolio. Cool. Whatever. If you want to say that, cool. Some people have the ability, if done right, to actually buy the dip. There's a point in time where you can get liquidated and actually buy the dip. But what if you happen to be that one unlucky soul or one unlucky individual where you get liquidated, the price doesn't go lower, and you can't buy the tokens that you once had? Eventually, the price just goes off, and then you're just screwed. And then, you, again, you're looking at what was 100000 back then could have been $10 million in the future. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Please come home. I got beef and lonely.
<laughs> Dude, you pay taxes on everything. Well, like, how do you not know, bro? Like, you you pay taxes at your job, and then you go to the grocery store, and you pay taxes there, and then you go to the gas station, you pay taxes there, and then you go. They they just keep taking out money, man. That's just all they do, right? And so like yes. they they made a proposal about sending you know the Ukraine. Don't get me wrong, whoever however you feel about this, but you send like sixteen billion to them or one hundred and sixty billion to them. You could just wipe away people paying taxes, mm -hmm. and just put, pay that toward the government, and it would actually do the exact same effect. But they don't, and they go give all this money away to all these other people. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's all kind of corrupted, man. I think everyone has a good idea of this at this point in time. Just keep that in mind, that the government will try to do anything that they can to get their greeny, greasy hands on your freaking money. They it's sure true. will. They sure will. Very disgusting, man. Um, hey, man, been a fun-ass stream. We about an hour in. And uh, what you what you say? You want to keep going? You want to wrap it up? What, what are we doing here? Uh, we're, good to, we're, good, we're good to wrap up here in a second. I feel yeah, like yeah, everyone yeah, got... Definitely. I feel like everyone got a good bit any, of information. Yeah, one thing, I mean. one thing I will actually say to everyone is again, pullbacks are in the game, folks. Yeah. Ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, shit, sixty percent, seventy percent, even eighty percent dips happen. They do. Look at look at this man in the chat, Brazology, uh, Crypto Seven. I apologize. You were totally right about Sami being a snake in the grass. You are ahead of the curve, man. Yeah, yeah. Very, very weird behavior, man. Very weird behavior. But I haven't know, checked out any own. of his posts at all for like yeah, uh, I, the last I'll never do it my again. life is so much better. So I'll never yeah. do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Waste and again, of time. like that's just that you don't need to be like surrounding yourself with everyone who's like the only yes man and all that good stuff. I'm not saying go do that, but if You're you find right. yourself feeling negatively affected by some certain stuff or just affected emotionally in some sort of way somehow i'm not a trader if you're you a gotta trader get, yeah yeah you gotta get get, gotta get that out of your life man if you're a trader that's your fate that's your content go watch that bullshit. We're, we're not traders here we hold right. all right we're yep. gonna wait yep crazy bro yeah and it's short term guys you might see some pain that's all good because long term 100%. you win right so Half the time, you just got to be able to make it through whatever the tough time it is. It's the same in life, dude. If you've ever gone through a rough point in time in your life, you come out ahead on the other side, typically a lot better and a lot further ahead than you ever once were. Mm -hmm. If you get the right mindset, if you allow yourself to actually grow and become a better human being because of what you went through, right? Nice. And so so everyone's wanting this money side of things real fast. And we'll just kind of wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. Everyone wants this money side of thing. Money is just an amplifier for whatever it is, right? And so, like, if you were to get rich out of nowhere, what happens is if you're a shitty human being, money just amplifies you being a shitty human being, right? If you were a good person who was a kind individual, you become a bigger, kinder individual. If you got your money because of the hard work and effort and perseverance that you put in and the discipline and time and dedication that you, that you crafted to learn it, by the time you get money, you become amplified the ability to do all that same stuff even more, right? And so that's what really matters. At, like at the end of the day, this is a us sharpening a tool right now. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Your tool's getting sharper right now. Your tool's getting sharper right now. And by the time the wealth comes, you can amplify that ability even further ahead into the future as well. There it goes. But if you end up just making a thousand dollars to a million dollars quickly. You end up getting rents half the time, or you end up becoming, uh, you know, a broke, a broke pleb. There it is, people. There it is. Perfect way to wrap up the stream. Sharpen them tools, baby. Let's get this money. Let's get this financial freedom. I didn't come here to lose, baby. I came here to win. Let's Absolutely. Let's and with go. that said, guys, we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Woo! Yeah, I'm ballin' in this bitch Yeah, 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 yeah Money stay callin' in this bitch